Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Arena. In the last set, we finished up the Fortress of Ice, or at the very least, found the chunk of bleh that we need to do for bleh, and I had to off-screen my way back, and oh boy, that was not fun. It liked respawning wolves in very, very annoying locations, so I was constantly machine-gunned with ice the entire time. Pain in butt. I was gonna get some stuff identified, but I couldn't remember if I have to go and talk to the figure of royalty or the mages guild dude. And I'm thinking it's a mages guild guy. So instead of being able to buy things, he's probably going to give me more plot bleh. So just in case, I figured I'd start it off here. If this isn't the case, then of course I'll be doing the rest of this off screen. Anywho, are you, are you looking at me? Aha, I had hoped and prayed for your safe return. I see you were successful. Your deeds will be sung among the tales of heroes. If you wait but a moment, I will give you what I promised. They unfits the piece into a larger tablet, then reads what is written. He gestures for your map. With a feather pen, he inscribes the location of the Labyrinthian, somewhere in the Skyrim province, onto your map. Well, there you are. It didn't really take that long now, did it? Boy, do I have some magic for you to detect. I have identified things, and I've bought a lot of potions. Because if the next place is going to be anything like the Frost Fortress, or the Fortress of Ice, with more maze mixed in, well, I'm going to want a metric butt-ton of potions. <clears throat> so I'm resisting hiccups. Plate Helms were kind of boring. They didn't really um, identify for much. Mark of Wanderlight. Uh, oh, 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 oh. That might actually be somewhat useful. <laughs> Wizard's Fire. That'll probably replace my shocking one that's almost out. No, never mind. Uh, Crystal Sanctuary. Blech. Bracers of Wizard's Fire. Oh, I have a slot for those. Bracers of Light. Nah, more Spell Blast. 25, let's got 14. Let's go with this one. Nearly equip one ring. See if the other gets Ah, no! No! Alright. Strength, intelligence, adamantium belt. Nice four. But the belt of intelligence is better. I'm gonna throw a torque. Mech. That's about it. However, we have 61 potions of restore power. I'm gonna see if this will actually stack up to 100 or not. I don't know what the limit of the engine is. My guess is it's going to probably be like 99, you know, Final Fantasy logic. And I'm probably going to get rid of a few of these because um, I have the suspicion that they're taking up slots. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like they might be. And as far as I know, Heal True is basically just a more powerful healing potion, so I'm going to use those. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, I finished my little shopping spree, and as you can see, we have lots of potions. However, in case the red on smoky background is completely unreadable, because it's hard for me to read and I'm looking at raw footage, we have 50, potion, or 50 potions of restore stamina, 100 of restore power, which means that um, it goes beyond 99, so that actually surprises me. The, we have 5 potions of Cure Disease, and 55 of Heal True, and finally 25 of Cure Poison. So, we should be ready for some business. Uh, other than that, the rest of the equipment is largely the same. I decided to keep a Bracer of Light and one of Wizard's Fire. Blah, 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 blah. We should have a lot of inventory space still available to us because potions have a not applicable weight to them. Which is nice, I suppose. By the way, there's a train in the background if you can hear that. Or we're wondering what that noise was. Anywho, before I forget what we're doing, 600, oh wait, no. How many thousands of experience points are those? Yeah, 660, 668 thousand experience points. We're almost up to a million. Well two-thirds of the way there. A little bit over two-thirds. Uh, I hit the wrong map button. 
Okay. We need to go to the Labyrinthian. Stupid name for a place. It was made for the express purpose purpose of shoehorning in what it's going to be. A Labyrinthian. Stubborn grass and roots stand in a stiff arctic climb, refusing to yield. Ahead of you stands the entrance to the Labyrinthian, testing ground of the Archmagus Shalador. Within its twisted path lies the second piece of the Staff of Chaos. No, the interior is not going to look nearly as cool as that. That'd be a very interesting place to see in Oblivion or whatever. Or, you know, Skyrim. I don't know. Those depictions were interesting to me. Oh, actually, this place does look kind of interesting. Kind of makes me think of Doom. Proceed along the center path first for clues to solving the secrets of the Labyrinthian. Oh, wait there. Lovely. So it's going to be a puzzle labyrinth. That's even worse. In fact, I'm thirsty. Done off screen because I don't have water in my drinking cup thing. It's only in the thermos, and the thermos is loud to open. So, yeah, that's why. In case you're wondering what you're not. This is the tale of two brothers who sought the secret of life. Well, thank you. You know what? I did it. Hang on. Haha, -ha. previous recording saves it. This is the tale of two brothers who sought the secret of life. They ventured into this labyrinthian, weary from war and strife. Oh, it's a rhyming secret of secretness. That's amazing. So sometimes the text stays for a very, very long time, and sometimes it stays for like, I don't know, half a nanosecond. Whatever. Let's keep moving down the hallway. The first was Cannon, the Elder, a strong, cunning man. He quested for riches and... Mm. He quested for riches and jewels, yet found fate had other plans. Wrong folder is selected. The second was Magris the Dim, and few knew what he was worth. They saw only the lumbering giant. Not the child who was blessed at birth. Whatever. And also I hear a million spiders in the background, so that's also awesome. By the way, it's not. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to like disappear in a nanosecond. There it goes, bye-bye. The few they told of their plans begged them to desist at their feet. But the brothers would test this puzzle of the North, for till then they had not known defeat. Who is writing this? Hmm, yes, I'm going to make it all rhyme, to make it sound more important. No, no, it just makes it sound silly, ah. Uh. This is the tale of two brothers who failed the secret of life forever held by two riddles which led to the prize, and a wit as cunning and as sharp as a knife. What? What the hell are you talking about? Stupid. D did you have to solve the puzzle with a damn rhyme or something? Ooh, what's this? Is that a trapdoor? What is that? What is you? I have no clue. Hmm. There's blood everywhere, that's for one thing. Well, there's one big door right there that I don't trust. Yes, yes. They're like 55,000 spider things. Looks like, a looks like a pressure plate. Any reason why Spideropolis is this place? Probably not a reason at all. Are these trapdoors for spiders? Uh, trapdoor spider. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. What? Mogris the Dim, though he's a boar, 
holds the only key that unlocks the door. To find this riddle, you must first find the sun. Start your faithful search behind door number one. Oh boy, you are so clever. It's like someone who just learned haiku. Stop being obnoxious. Oh, there it pops up again. I could have read that without having to uh, look back in the videos, but yeah. So I'm gonna have to blow him up. Oh yeah, I forgot, I got new spells. Let's see here. There's that drum sound again. I purchased a few spells, let's see here. I have Shalador's Mirror, which does reflect. See right there, 40% chance to reflect a spell, plus 2% per one level. So if we're level 20, it has an 80% chance to reflect a spell back. So if they vomit 8 million spells a second, maybe they'll blow themselves up faster. I don't know. We have pass wall that destroys three walls instead of one. Maybe it needs a score of three to break one wall. Or maybe it needs a score of four to break a wall. I have no clue. I don't know how it works. Fireball, which is self-explanatory. It blows up. Plus 4 to 12 points per every level. I did not make that. It just came like that, which is really nice. Mm. Does pass wall change with level? I'm curious. No. Just three walls permanently negated. I don't know how it rules that, but... Eh. And I think that's about it. No, I should have shield or something. Where is that? Pretty sure I bought a shield spell. Force wall, that's what it is. 50 points of shield corrected. Blah, 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 blah. 50 hit points of shield created, plus five for every level. So instead of like a percentage shield like it does in Oblivion or Morrowind or whatever, it, um, it actually just prevents straight damage, I believe, which is nice. Don't like that cost though, I really don't. Oh well, at least it doesn't have a percent chance to fail. Oopsie doodles. There goes all your mana. Mm -hmm. Guess we're gonna open this door. This is a magically held lock. Then where is door number one? Oh, I get it. But what way are the numbers registered? I don't understand. Is this door number one? And hello, oh, what are you doing here? Slice, 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 slice. Is it that door? Or is it that one? Oh, I thought there might have been another spider in there. Scratching the ground is a word door one. Okay, so it goes right to left for numbers. Why? That's a weird system. That's it, I'm gonna make some light. There we go, that's better. Hello, oh boy. And the labyrinth, it beginneth. Spider. Slice, dice, and hack. Hack as in chop, not as in, like, cheat. I see you there, spidery spider. Wow, this place is already better than that uh, stupid place filled with knights. Those damn fishmen with their wells of health. I mean, yeah, they give you a bucket of health and they give them, like, a trough of it. I think that's very fair. Ugh, it's so grossly warm tonight. You're going to spend more time sweating than sleeping, and that's never nice. It isn't. Oh boy, Frostwolf, what are you doing in here? No. No shooting! Stupid dog thing. Oh, the other one spawned. So it's going to make loud and annoying sounds. Where is it? Hmm. I 
I do wonder if your level affects the effective level of a um, an item. So if uh, a pair of gauntlets fires a fireball, will it fire it at the base level, at an item level, or at your level? D&D &D rulings is it's always at the base level. So say you get a wand of fireballs, it is always cast at the lowest possible level for the spell to be um, manifested. So... In case nobody knows this, if you're a wizard, you get a spell at a certain level. Say you get fireball at level 3. That means if you get something that can shoot it, the fireball will always be roughly at level 3. Because that's the minimum, minimum level for it. Same thing goes for potions too. And there's nothing you can do to enhance it. As far as I know. Maybe there's different rules. Then again, D&D &D has like five different ages that all have different and distinct rule sets to them. It changes a lot. Um, the oldest one is the negative armor class. At least that's the one that I know that's the oldest. That's back in Icewind Dale. Does anybody know about Ice and Icewind Dale? It was around when Baldur's Gate was around. Does Baldur's Gate do negative armor class or does it do positive? I know Neverwinter does positive, but that's uh, technically 3.5. And everybody knows how old the first Neverwinter is. Gary Gygax made the, the Dungeons and Dragons game a long, long time ago. Yeah, It's hard to perform coherent thoughts when your mouth is really dry. Alright, I'm back and I put water in my drinking cup so now I can drink from that instead of my thermos. Mmm. Go away, dry mouth. No one needs you. Anywho, I had some time to think about what I was talking about. And, um, the rules are a little bit wishy-washy. It depends on who you ask or whatever, or what um, version you're using. Um, the newest one, it uses a charge system, so if you put more charge into it, it's a higher level. Some of them are the lowest minimum level, some of them are higher, whatever. It, it's a big mess. So I can be completely wrong or right, just dependent on who's hosting the game, essentially. Oh! No, 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 no! Are people having a conversation while running a car under my window? Are you serious? Why? Maybe they think if they're sitting in a running car, they won't get robbed. I don't know. It's not that bad where I live, but, um, I don't know, maybe that's what they suspect. Are those tunnels for spiders? I guess. Yes, yes, we hear you revving up your engine. Can you kindly leave? Thank you. At least it's not rattling my windows. The fire truck was outside my window for, like, two hours today. I think someone had a stroke or something, I'm not sure. Hearing that thing idling under my window for ages wasn't very nice. Plus, they smell like diesel. Or, I suspect it's diesel. All I know is I can smell unburnt fumes. Excuse me? Ah! Cheap shot. At least I can slice those things up without having to heal 8 million times. Hmm. As long as I haven't been here before, it's new to me. So is one of your brothers like a spider or something? Are we going to find a drider? A drider is an abomination of like half man, half spider. Well, it's more like someone took a bloated corpse and stuck it on top of a spider. Like, uh, that's, that's what it looks like in appearance at least. Oh yeah, and it's um, like a dark elf on top of a spider. It has to do with their crazy-ass god punishing them for stuff. Because their god's crazy. It also makes them very evil. Or something like that. I'm not sure. Then again, this game doesn't adhere to that, so... Uh, I'm just talking about stuff now. I'm being nerdy! I can't help it! Hmm. Not that nerdy, though. I don't know much of what I'm talking about. I just know mostly hearsay, I suppose. 
Wait, did I just go around to the front entrance? Probably. I think so. These connect, don't they? So those two doors don't actually matter, do they? Meh. Nah. 